We're here. We're here. Oh yeah. Hey, sweet Whatever sweet your sweet little heart, heart desires, feller. You need to get a selfie in with me over here, pal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Be don't be shy. shy. <laughs> selfie it up, partner. <laughs> hey, Chris, don't slap that shit in my face, son. Show some respect. <laughs> Show me some damn respect, son. Sorry about that. <laughs> Don't apologize. Do better. <laughs> little, 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 little tan fella. <laughs> uh, you, oh. Can you fold the hat? Does the hat fit over? Oh, oh, huh? oh, no. This is... Oh, no. What if you were to fold oh. this side? <laughs> this... I mean, you look good without it. You look good with it. <laughs> yeah, man, that's you not... went from a cowboy to a gay bartender, man. <laughs> that's not the vibe. The Sorry, not yeah. Yeah. I just want my hat. Oh. I wish I could have it. <laughs> Wait, do we have another microphone anywhere? Yeah. <laughs> are we? Are we going? Are we live? Is it happening? <laughs> sure, shit seems <laughs> like it. Get her done. What? <laughs> Is everyone's cameras rolling? Let me fix your. Fix my scarf, dear partner. Thanks. <laughs> this is a lot. This is definitely a lot. Hey, uh, well, howdy, y'all. Can't believe it's finally happening, but the boys are in Colorado. <laughs> We're this here. <laughs> We're here. We're queer. We might catch fish. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Just saying. Um, yeah, okay. Well, we can't do that actually the whole time. Right? No. Just, no. No, no. Okay. No. No. But we're going to do it for the first uh, few minutes for sure, because I can't it. stop. Uh, um, hey, guys, welcome back to whatever the hell this is. I, literally. <laughs> today, literally, whatever the hell this is. Um, yeah. How, uh, how's everybody doing today? How's uh, how's the weather? <laughs> oh, it's muggy. <laughs> it's real nice. Swamp butts in full effect today. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. I feel minor, like... Minor chafing. Mm -hmm. This is like... I don't know. I feel like you take, you've take you taken the stereotype of Colorado a little too far <laughs> because this is more like Wyoming, honestly. Listen, like, I I said last week, I was like, God, how are we going to outdo ourselves? I mean, the zebra jacket, the whole gay situation, the pride moment. How am I going to up the style game? And I said, we're going to Murdoch's, which is a country western Walmart. They have feed. That's right. <laughs> They have yeah. cowboy clothes. Mm. I can't stop. I need to stop. Oh my God, it's too much. And I was like, we're going to go full cowboy on this because why not? So let's go around the room. Let's show what we have. Our microphones are kind of covering a lot of the goods. Yeah. Like if you look, I got myself a little nice little turquoise necklace or tie, <laughs> bow tie. <laughs> what do cowboys call them? It's a fine piece of jade you got there, partner. Mm -hmm, thank you. And then I have this scarf and I thought it was too much. So I'm just going to use it as a sweat rag. <laughs> oh, my Colorado mug. Oh my God. I'm forgetting everything. Audio listeners. Check out the video version of the show, and uh, yeah, don't forget to give five stars and a nice review. Thank you kindly. Nice. Jared, what are you wearing? Today I'm wearing me a nice little turquoise diddly dap <laughs> shirt, nice little patterns. Got me some suspenders, keeping it in check. Mm -hmm. Nice cowboy hat. And then a little doohickle right here, green. Bring out the color of my eyes. You've really taken the but, suspenders uh, yeah. full force. I feel like a pig and shit. I feel beautiful. <laughs> uh huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ryland, what are you serving right now? Because I'm going with. Uh, uh, um, I don't know what it is. I'm going with whatever was the gayest thing I could find at Murdoch's. And I really tried. They had, oh my gosh, they had a little pink overall set, but it was only for the three or four year old girls. So I did with what. I could and yeah I really I'm yeah it looks like outfit. you went back to the men's department for that <laughs> 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 and Chris I don't even know if we need to explain what you're wearing but you can go ahead this is just my regular everyday attire <laughs> mm -hmm. that's what you arrived in I got here a gold bull because I like to take the bull by the horns <laughs> is that even the expression I like to take the uh, bear by the ears but I'm also a homosexualist so I have these here uh, suspenders. suspenders you look like like what TGI Fridays is making and their uh, bartenders were for Pride Month. <laughs> 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 yeah. You know? You just need like some pins and shit, like some accomplishment pins. Some flair. Yeah, you need some flair, son. <laughs> well, okay, should we just jump right into the drama? Which one? <laughs> the long journey to get here? This is a three-day setup. Let us know if you like the setup. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, we, okay. Yeah. Well, okay, first of all, the boys arrived a couple days ago, and the reason that it took us a couple days to actually sit down and record is because day one, we were trying to figure out where in this house we were going to try to replicate our podcast studio set 
and nowhere was working. I mean, we tried the kitchen, we tried the dining room, we tried every room in the house. We tried the uh, pool table. It looked horrible. <laughs> uh, I liked that setup personally. Really? I thought it looked really depressing. <laughs> so we ended up deciding to do this living room. It's, you know, I feel like this is the vibe, right? You think Colorado, you think this dark cabin dungeon that we have here. And then last night we set up and um, we decided to take a break and just have a drink or two and shit got crazy. Oh, yes. <laughs> Well, you know what? Before we even get to that, we <laughs> I can't look at you. <laughs> oh my god. Just look, man. I can't take me in. It's too much. Take me in, partner. <laughs> um Jared, do you want to talk about your look um me in the eyes when you're tough? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be gazing yonder when we're making eye contact. All right, talk uh, to me. So do you wanna tell us uh what happened when you first got to the house? Yeah, so, you know, I, I saw that there was a lot of comments. Well, it seems like people might want to see us get a little lit. You know what I mean? Oh. So, I don't, is that what we're talking about? I was going to talk about the zip line, but yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> that wasn't so <laughs> lit, partner. So, uh, yeah, we I, I got here, and I noticed there was a zip line on the property. And uh, I thought I could do that pretty easily. I saw Ryland do it, you know, no big deal. Zip line is about to happen. <laughs> Oh my god. And then my uh, fear of heights kicked in immediately, and it's sad because I was probably only two feet off the ground. <laughs> yeah. Over the water? Yeah. I don't know, dude. You got it. This is way different when you're doing it. <laughs> yeah. And I was like shaking on the, on the ladder, and it was like a, a thing. And then uh, when I finally, and it got scarier because I had to go higher. Oh my god. I had to run into it. It was like all these elements. Goes over and, the lake. And I didn't know it went over the lake. Thanks, sir, partner. <laughs> and I didn't know it went over the lake. So when I started running down, immediately my butt hit the floor. <laughs> felt like it was going to end. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> and you're doing it. Go, keep going. Keep going. So then I let go of the uh, of the zip line where a court flipped up. All these lights <laughs> fell. Oh my god, oh my god. Whoa, 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 oh my god. Oh my god, no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh. oh my and god. It was quite, it was quite the uh, moment. It, it was like a know? tragic moment. It like went in slow whoa. motion because whoa. the moment he goes whoa. off. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, it was sad. I felt really bad. I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> I was just happy though that you didn't like fall and break your face open. That would have sucked. But I'm glad you're okay. But yes, we after that, we decided, let's try to record a podcast. And it didn't happen. And we ended up, you know, having a couple drinks. Um, and then uh, things got really crazy. <laughs> like, I don't even, I'm not even exaggerating. Like, I was going through my phone this morning. And I don't even remember taking these. I saw pictures of Chris on the ground in my kitchen. <laughs> like, really <laughs> contemplating life. It was nuts. And Ryland, you well, you you got you got into it. Well, yeah, well, I haven't smoked pot in years. Well, wait, are we going there? We're talking about what we really did. Oh shit, cats out of the bag, feather. Well, okay, <laughs> actually, you know what, Jared, you take it away. How did the night start? Because okay. it was kind of your idea. Okay, so back, to, back, so like I was saying, you know, it, it's all about giving the people what they want, or as close as we can, right? And uh, I saw a lot of comments saying that people would love to see us be lit on a podcast. So I work with the company amazing product shout out to uh, clone guy so i brought some of our product that we cultivate it's amazing flower and at night i decided to break it out and i rarely i, I really don't smoke only a very special occasion obviously smoking with chris and Ryland seemed like an amazing opportunity a celebration mm -hmm. so i did my little thing i rolled a little something up and uh we took some puffs and then next thing i know chris is using a uh, ready whip as a chip dip <laughs> It was possibly the most stoner thing I've ever... I believe I've been in the game for a long time. I've seen a lot of shit. But watching a man scarf down a half a tube of Pringles and using Ready Whip to eat every single one was a fucking sight to see. It was... Um, how are you feeling today, Chris? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I love... I don't know. You keep doing this thing where every time you laugh, you, like, move away from the microphone. It's like a Ray Charles or Stevie Wonder thing. What's going on? Why are you doing that? Uh, I hate my laugh. Well, no. So, I thought you got over that. I'm like, pull away from them. No, we love your laugh. It's very it's loud. loud. I didn't smoke because I just don't smoke. So I drank instead. Chris did both. And um, I... 
It's but what we the call record, getting crossfaded. For the record, I, I like I never smoke. Ever. Like I don't like, and it never ends well. Like I always think it'll be fun the next time. Did it not end well last night? Like I think was, we had a good time. There was fun, but I always just feel like shit the next day. Well, really? that's probably because me and Chris post made a Taco Bell, and I think oh, we ooh. ate twelve tacos. I took oh, a picture of what went <laughs> on last night. I went over to my family today because I was helping my brother move all day long, and they were like, well, "What did you do last night?" I was like, "Got really stoned," and they ordered like the whole store of Taco Bell, and I took a photo of us sitting up. <laughs> It was oh, high no. pressure though because I think there was only like two minutes to order, so it was yeah. just like shit, a uh, burrito, crunch wrap, just like just get it all, you know. <laughs> and then you got like a, some kind of a box. It's a party pack, and it was but, a party. But I feel pretty good about what we accomplished. Most of it got eaten, right? All of it got eaten. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then here's how the Pringle thing happened. So I put together some segments for the show. One of them was going to be weird food combinations because I was like, oh, that'll be fun, and you know, we could try some weird food combinations. Uh, one of them was going to be Pringles and Ready Whip. And at some point in the night, I literally forgot that that was for the podcast. And I was like, Chris, try the Pringles with the Ready Whip. And then you tried it. And then you ate like the whole can and the whole bottle of Ready Whip. And not only that, then I started hand feeding you the tuna uh, Hawaiian oh. punch mixture that oh. I made. Are we doing a weird food combos on the podcast Chris today? ate all of them. <laughs> I still want to try some of the things. We have photo proof of it. <laughs> yeah. No, but the tuna was bad. Yeah, so that was a tuna salad mixed with Hawaiian punch. And then you're, I was supposed to put it on bread for you. And but, instead, I just like, I think I used my fingers. Uh, you Ew! <laughs> okay, I didn't know what was happening. Shane's like, close your eyes, try this. Yuck. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> no, close your eyes. You can't. And you also were like, no, keep your eyes closed. And I was like, why? And like, I was like, opening my mouth. I'm like, oh, God. Mm. And I was like, I was very gone. And just like imagining weird, for some reason, I imagine like frogs covered in liquid coming to my mouth. Just like yeah. weird things in my high brain and uh and like by the time it got to my mouth i was already ready to throw up because the things i was imagining but then the flavor of it it was like the sweetness of the punch or whatever it was <laughs> with the tuna like made the tuna so much more bitter and gross okay well and, i have some left now we have to do w weird food combinations because i know there's a couple more that you didn't well, try i literally I, thought i was gonna throw up. i also and you know what you didn't throw up and that's because you're a champion partner <laughs> Um, but also not helping the rumors that me and you were fucking, right? <laughs> Can we talk about that for a second? We'll get back to weird food and combinations. Sure. But Chris came to me yesterday. I wonder why. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You're not helping. Chris I'm not helping. Yesterday. Every every fucking podcast, you guys are flirting up a storm. You guys, what have I? What have I ever? Uh, first of all, okay, I'm not. The, I'm not the. Uh, what's a word that's not predator? <laughs> Something that's less crazy than <laughs> uh, perpetrator. Uh, Aggressor? I didn't mean to put the blame. I'm on not you. the aggressor here. Well, that's worse. <laughs> yeah, that um, sounds like the worst thing you could say. <laughs> <laughs> no, here's the thing. Me and Chris have natural chemistry. I'm not saying. <laughs> Now, good job, uh, yo. Now, I'm not saying sexual chemistry. I'm saying chemistry. You got to specify. Besides my brother, you're the one I've known the longest. Yeah. Sorry, Ryland. But also me and you are very similar. We both have similar mental health issues yeah. <laughs> and similar zodiacs. And I just love you and I care you. Guys for you guys go outside in the corner and talk for hours. <laughs> I'll be inside doing my own I thing. Recreate a broke back mountain. Real yes. Barebacking. <laughs> Whoa, that's you. Bareback. I didn't say have fucking sex. <laughs> I said, go talk about your emotions. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, right. Same for us, baby. Right. Um, no, here's the thing. We have natural chemistry. I love Chris so much. I would never fuck Chris. He would never fuck me. Right? Oh, right. Throwing out here. Just asking. Just asking. Um, no, but Chris came to me and he goes, he goes, oh my God, you want to do something funny? And I forgot who it was, but somebody in your family, right? Like actually thinks that you're cheating on your boyfriend with me. <laughs> And I was like, that's not funny. That's scary. What are we doing? Well, shout out to Cassette. She sent me uh, a video. She She's like my cousin. Not really. It's like, you know, like if you're, do you know? Like that Latino yeah, thing where you're like, cassette? this person's my uncle because they've been around forever. Yeah, let's get back to that name real related. quick. Who's the other one? Compact disc? Do <laughs> <laughs> anyways. <laughs> anyways. What about geez. laser disc? How's she doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No, wait. We love you, Cassette. Uh, we love you. Her middle name, Blu-ray. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! I'm just kidding, <laughs> Love and kisses. Sorry for mentioning you. Cassette. Um, no, but she she texted me a video from like a drama channel, and she's like, "People are talking about you," and I was like, "What do you mean? Oh, what does that no. mean?" And I got Chris, really you got to block all those channels so they don't come in your ether. I just assumed no one would ever talk about me, like because oh, you guys are sorry. the show in my mind. Right. But anyways, um, I'm like I'm I'm still like in my mind I'm the camera guy. You know what I mean? So, right. I anyways, but. 
So yeah, I saw the video and they were like, oh, like Shane and Chris clearly have slept with each other. And like, this is why, like, because of the way that they lose each other, the way Rylan reacts because of this thing. And, that, and it was all these things. And I was almost convinced by the end of it. But and what kind I, of relationship do they think I have with you? We're just I, like open. Yeah. They probably think that you're like fucking somebody way more. No, they, they were me. saying you're really like hurt and like upset oh, by it. And you're like, you I bring it that. out. I love being the victim. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we've been waiting. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> but it, it's not true at all like there's zero <laughs> i feel like there's nothing i, I don't say. believe you the, no, um, <laughs> try again watch <laughs> if you guys ever if it ever comes out that you guys have done something together mm. wow it's gonna it be explosive won't. <laughs> it won't cause it... tune in next week uh no here's why i like it and i told you chris i was like listen this, I like this is a good thing right <laughs> because i feel like every successful talk show there's always a rumor that the co-hosts are fucking like, you know, Kelly and Michael or, you know, the women on The View. Like, there's always a rumor <laughs> that they're all fucking behind the scenes. And I feel like it's good that people think we're fucking. Now, if people thought that Jared and Rylan were fucking, then we got a hit, baby. Whoa. <laughs> we know we're you, doing you something like right. <laughs> <laughs> no, me and Chris are not fucking yet. It's, no, I'm just kidding. It's not happening. Um, okay, wait. Before we get into everything else, I want to know about you guys' trip. How was it? You came from L.A. You flew here. Did you have any fun adventures on the way? Uh, you know, it wasn't overly eventful. I did have, though, I was able to sit in the uh, emergency lane. So I had extra, extra. I mean, I did have a lot of responsibilities on me, but I felt up to the challenge. So, if you know, I would have been the one to save everybody on the plane. I thought that would have been an awesome story for the podcast. <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't happen. Super safe whoa, flight. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're getting back I, on I, a fucking I, plane. I, I fell asleep a couple of times, you know. I, I relieved my duties. But uh, no, it was a good flight. And then I got, I mean, yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy happened. I will say, though, uh, cheap trick, bonus cheap trick. Oh. He's got a pocket of change. He makes a lot of sense. When the price goes up, he'll get a few less. It's cheap trick. Oh, yeah. With Jerry. Is if you want to save money, just don't ever buy anything at the airport. <laughs> it's like $8 for a fucking the cheapest Nestle bottle of water. Mm. So, yeah, cheap trick. You know, just buy everything ahead of time. Mm -hmm. You know? With Jerry. Chris, how was your adventure here? Um, there was like a stewardess <laughs> or what are they called? The, the person... flight attendant. Yeah, the flight attendant. Um, she was really funny and she just like oh. kept cracking jokes the whole time. And she was like, uh, anyone that's wearing sandals with socks, please get off the plane. <laughs> and just like stuff like that. And like, she was really funny. I liked her a lot. Jared, do you wear sandals with socks? I don't wear That's sandals. Rude. Son. I was just wondering. I just wanted to ask. That I, is rude. I rarely actually wear socks unless I have to. <laughs> I like going sockless. What can I say? I don't have a lot of foot confidence, so I don't wear sandals. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But hey, maybe one day. Maybe one day I'll rock some sandals. I hate my feet. My boyfriend says I have jungle feet. Because they have super high arches, and he's like, they're meant to climb a tree. What? Um, that's what jungle he says. feet. Wow. <laughs> Chris, you can't say something like that and not show us your feet. <laughs> oh my gosh! You literally yes! cannot do that. Let's get you on wiki feet, Chris. Oh, show those show arches. Your, show your feet. Such a bad show those and arches. Talent, son. So, I mean, they're bad. It's just like the arches are insane. Like, I got a weak stomach. Way this is gonna make me sick. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Yes, it will. <laughs> this is gonna ruin my appetite, here, son. Take those socks off, right. sweetie. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me film. <laughs> You feel my foot? Well, I need to get a real good angle for the viewers. I wonder what Shane's foot cam. rating is. <laughs> Where's the shoe cam? Um, okay. There it is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Tiana. Oh, well, my wiki no. feet? Oh, nobody's ever seen my little sad fucking hobbit feet. All right, Chris, take off that shoe. Come on. <laughs> This feels dumb. this feels like the aggressor. Don't 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 be don't be shy there, no, partner. Okay. Don't be shy. Like this partner. it doesn't look Wait, crazy. Wait, no, pull it up. Like this doesn't look crazy, but I can't. See <laughs> it. Are you ready for? Are you ready for the arch? Look at this. Look at that. I insane. can't see it. Do you see the arch? Do you see? Oh wow! When you turn it really far. Oh my gosh, Chris! Wait, I don't see what you're talking about. I'm just okay, go this go towards part. the blinds, Chris. Yeah, like that. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> wow. I see it. There it is. Yeah. 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 Tiana. That's an arch. That's like a um like an old lady demon. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, that sounds mean. I didn't mean it mean. But you know what I mean? Like in a movie where there's an old lady demon who's hovering and her feet are curved. No, no, no. That ain't mean at all. <laughs> <laughs> looks like uh, I would lick them. <laughs> dude, it looks like you're wearing shoes. Do you want to know your wiki feet rating, Shane? I don't think my wiki feet rating is even accurate because there's so many people that hate me. Yeah. I feel like they would just go one star my foot. 
<laughs> yeah. I mean, there's a couple disturbing feet pictures of here on you. Really? Yeah. Wait, what? Here, like, play them. The, uh, oh, okay. Hold on. <laughs> oh, there they are. That's my foot. Wait, my feet are not as bad as I thought they were. I don't think that's me. Yes, it is. That's my foot? Nobody else has those shoes with that flooring. <laughs> Wait, wh- I've Dude, shown my what the feet fuck a lot. Is, are we looking at? Is this actually a website <laughs> all about feet? You don't know about wiki feet? I've never heard of this. Oh, yeah. they This rate, is real. They are you ready for feet? your rating, Shane? Wait, what? are those the views? Or no, that's how many people saw my feet? Is that? Wow. I don't know. But why aren't they watching my videos? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Because you're not showing your feet enough. No, th- there's no way those are your feet. That's yeah, someone no, else dying in A&W to put <laughs> bottles on your feet. <laughs> okay, oh, so you're rating. What okay, you wait, got? let's guess. Um, I Whoa, look at my injury. That was it, What is it out of? Um, Five stars. Oh, I'm going to say one. You got a 2.5 at least, dude. Thank you. Well, it is a thing where people team up and go rate you bad feet. Ooh, on, you're, they go, wow. Okay, I'm scrolling up. Okay, wait, Chris, you oh. didn't guess. Oh. What do my feet are? I think you have a nice feet, but I don't think that's what it's going to be based off of. The yeah. score? Yeah. So, mm-hmm. I don't know. One out of five. Three. <gasps> One point six six. No, that's solid. horrible. Wait, how many people reviewed? Not them? that many. Seventy three people voted one star. You, you have twenty fuckers. four no, five star you... reviews. See, those are real. That's the thing. I was a five star baby, and then all the haters came along in twenty twenty. Seventy three of my them. Wiki feet. <laughs> Can we see what mine is? Do I? I mean, there's no way. I don't even think I take pictures of my foot in my life. Oh, what is this photo? <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. That's I have a, a lot. I have a two and a half. Uh, two point two nine. Wow, that's not that. too bad. That's I just good. like I'm so self conscious. I hate everything about myself. So if like if if I ever ended up on this and it was like zero, I'd be like, that's right. That oh makes my goodness, Shane, I have more bad re- reviews than you though. It's all right. Well, though. if that's the worst, though. I love your feet. Um. Okay. Oh, weird food combinations. Sorry, <gasps> we're getting right into it. Well, you know what? Maybe. Oh, okay. Five minutes. Um. So yes, I did cook up some weird food combinations, um, and they were a lot of work. Like there was one, <laughs> a lot of work. <laughs> one of them, uh, when Jared got here, mm. he was like, "Oh wow, nice house! Look at the deer!" And then he saw this on the counter, and he started going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was rough, dude. I didn't know your stomach was that weak. Yeah. So what it is is uh, actually, Chris, can you go grab it for me? Yeah. It's just right there next to the sink. I made something called um, flaming hot crispies. And <laughs> I'm actually excited to try this. And it's uh it's exactly what you think it is. It's hot Cheetos mixed with marshmallows mm. to create a crispy ch- a hot Cheeto crispy. <laughs> That's disgusting. Dude. What's wrong with it? The color? Something about it's making it my mouth water. It just looks nasty as fuck. <laughs> and then like it what it is. It's hot Cheetos. <laughs> Wait, so right I was gonna save this for the end of the podcast, but I guess we could just get it right into it. I mean, you know when you get that fresh bag of hot Cheetos and you're opening it and your mouth starts like watering? Yeah, I have that sensation with this. It smells good, Jared. Not good. It's like sweet. <laughs> right here, let me just let me just smell, smell it. it. Just smell it and be honest. It kind of smells good. It smells good. Yeah, take one, pass it. it on. Okay, let's. You have, have to, Jerry. You have to try. I, uh, I don't have anything to wash it down with. It's your job. <laughs> <laughs> it's <Ugh>. your job. <laughs> okay. Ugh. I'm not gonna take it if you touch it. <laughs> I, I thought it was gonna be like Rice Krispies. I've like, been waiting for this. I'm. I uh, am I the only one that's excited about I, this? I thought you were gonna smash it and turn it into Rice Krispies, but it's just no. It's <laughs> sugar coated. Yes. Like, we wow. only have two minutes. We have to hurry. Oh gosh, okay. hurry! Chris, we're on a time crunch. Oh my gosh. Oh, I should have took one when I had it. Can oh. you hand it back that way? Ugh. Come on, Jared. You have to have. Only a little bit, man. This is like. <laughs> I got this seconds. making me real case. grossed out. I'm uh-huh. just going to take a little bite. I can't do much more than this little. Okay. Ooh, it smells so good. <laughs> All right, here it, we go. It does have a smell to it. Quick taste test. Hold on. Oh, oh Jared already went, went in. in. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Ew. Oh, it's really bad. Oh, it's really bad. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a it's a glazed donut meets a hot Cheeto. <laughs> Ooh, the noises are bad. Ooh, I love it. Ooh. I think I like all of it. I like the really? ASMR. Can I give them some ASMR? Sure. It's gonna be a really good crunch. You're gonna hate it. Wow. But I'm not wearing headphones. Alright. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> 
not, not for me, partner. I'm a pass. That was not for me. I could overdose on these for sure. <laughs> oh, you got a whole lot of it to yourself. <laughs> it's not nearly as bad as the tuna, though. Not even close. How do you guys not like it? It's like a glazed donut hot Cheeto. Okay, you know what? Later in the show, we'll do the tuna Hawaiian punch, and we'll just let you do it. Then you're going to mix that all together, and just when you thought I was done, some fruit punch. So as you can see, I have a problem. Yeah, I do. No, I don't want that, but this is delicious. <laughs> okay. You guys are crazy. You're lying. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to take a quick <laughs> a quick little break. When we come back, uh, some... Oh, the noises. Drop the recipe in the description section. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to like it. All right. We'll be back with some with some dumb shit. I'm seeing a second. That wasn't dumb shit? What was... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? He's half German. He's so bright. He's a factual delight. Are you ready for some fun? German facts with Chris. Chris. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. I just can't. Sorry. Have you Chris. always been wearing that? <laughs> I just put the hat on for the next segment. Does it look stupid? It's really big, right? I like it. Is it too big? No, you, it looks great. You got a big noggin. Just saying. We were looking all <laughs> over that store. Uh, Chris. Yes. Guess what? Huh. German cowboy. I think you have some facts for us today. I do. Wait, you doing a German accent while dressed like a cowboy is a fucking pop star moment. Oh God, I don't even know if I can. Um, so uh, in today's German facts, uh, we are going to talk about average uh, size of your finger uh, schwinkel. Uh, <laughs> it's not a word. So the average penis size of- a... Wait, we should guess. Oh, would you like to guess? Well, okay. so what's Americans? Uh, last time I checked, it was about <laughs> five and a quarter. <laughs> How do we all measure that's, up? That's what those USAers <laughs> are packing. Last time I checked, none of my comes in small packages. <laughs> yeah, it's true. No. How would I guess? How would you even really know? And nobody's going to house to house to measure dicks. If that was a job, Rylan would already be doing. I'm kidding. And nobody, <laughs> and nobody's asked, like you know, for you to measure their dicks. Well, no, for me to like submit to be like part of the whole survey. Okay, Germans, I'm gonna, I'm gonna honestly go bigger. I'm gonna say 5.75 inches. They love their bratwurst. I'm gonna say 6.2. 5.5. Um, the correct answer for the average size of a German penis is 5.7 inches. <gasps> I was right. You were basically. I wow. know. I know my worldly penis. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, not helping the rumors. <laughs> well, good fact. I feel like we uh, really just have kept the gay momentum going from last week right into this week. <laughs> yes, hunty. <laughs> you gotta do the wow. Is it a butt sex question? It's not far from butt sex. <laughs> Essentially, like uh, masturbation. Right. If you're more on, on the side of liking to receive... Do you mask? Do you still yank or do you poke when you masturbate? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> poke. Well, you know, get get something and 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 simulate the kind of eroticism that you're into. What? Because if you're not the one that's pumping, and you're the one getting jumped in, you know, or pumped in. Okay. How? Uh, well, I think that's what I think. Some guys use dildos. What? Good enough. Well, you really cupped your composure. <laughs> When I said that, I still yeah. don't think I understand the question. He's asking, do gay guys who like to get it in the butt, do they jerk off or do they poke their butts? Did but, they... Well said, dude. I was having a hard time but making that lot. How You're would welcome. you get off to solely fingering your own ass? Your prostate. You'd, you'd have to fucking still jack off. No. If you hit your prostate enough, you just come. It's called milking. Uh, Chris. Oh, never mind. What? <laughs> you You can't ask somebody's position like <laughs> no, that. I... I wasn't gonna ask that. Can I was ask gonna me if say I'm a top or a bottom. No, I will both. Continue. Nah. I like how Chris just... is just head on with it. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. saying? Like Chris, he's a speed bump. He speeds up. <laughs> yes, <laughs> caution to the wind. <laughs> I like it, dude. Both. Because there are people who are solely bottoms. <laughs> we can talk about that. You know how you know if you're at a bottoms house? <laughs> Wait, how? Okay. How do you, and this is, I, I actually think this is a little bit of a uh, modification of a, of a previous joke I've learned. Oh, okay. But I think this might be huge. Yeah. This might be a thing that it sweeps gay jokes. How do you know when you're at a bottom's house? Oh. Ow. Ow. When the hot dogs taste like shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I get the like logic of it though. 
because <laughs> in this joke, this bottom had no dildos. It was very desperate. Ran to the fridge, grabbed a hot dog. A hot dog, which by the way would break apart and yeah. fucking get stuck. Oh, this was frozen. Oh, I get it. <laughs> it took me a second, but I've arrived. Oh, yeah, I love you. Um, happy Pride Month. Happy Bottom Day. <laughs> it's uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> Every day's Bottom Day. Yeah. I don't. I. Okay. <laughs> um. I don't know how to segue into uh, talking about a deep topic after. Are talk- you getting a little anxiety thinking of how to segue into it? Oh. Yes. Okay. Wow. Good job. Thank you. Um, I wanted to talk about this because this is something we've kind of skirted around in other podcasts. And I think it is a big deal for a lot of us in the room dealing with anxiety. Uh... <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> how about this? Every time. How do we do these without this happening? I, th- I think it's an honest reaction when you're talking about something that might be a little bit difficult <laughs> is to chuckle a little bit, you know? I don't think it's out of the norm. Okay. But but we're talking about how do we deal with anxiety. But uh, usually I get anxiety when I am trying to focus on way too many things at once. <laughs> It's almost like when you look at a large staircase and you think about just being on the top and and not thinking about all the steps, you know, and and Mm -hmm. that's kind of what it is to me. I get anxiety because so much is going on. How am I going to get it done? You know, it could be a lot. It could feel like quite the burden. So I don't know if that's how you guys associate with anxiety, but that's how I do. Yes, I agree with that. My anxiety is, I think I have like multiple versions of anxiety. Like I have Mm. body anxiety. No, I'm just, <laughs> I agree. I'm agreeing. I do too. I have, I have like oh. overt and oh. covert anxiety. Oh, I thought you were making fun of no, me. No, I was Sorry. agreeing. I judged you. Um, No, thank you. Yes. Because I mean, I thought you were laughing at me because I do have a lot of different versions of anxiety. I have body anxiety. Um, I have OCD, which is also gives me anxiety because it fills my head with uh, just intrusive thoughts that kind of, depending on how anxious I am that day. Like, you know, today, for example, for some reason, I was really anxious today. I woke up. My heart was kind of racing, probably because I was fucked up last night. <laughs> and it was probably been just a lot that oh, happened. Yeah. Last night. Oh, yeah. And it really bled into today. But I had anxiety. Oh, oh no. You didn't. You were bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> what? You said it bled in. It was oh. a stupid joke. <laughs> my butt was bleeding this morning. Um, <laughs> too much still doing. And um, it was giving me anxiety. <laughs> That's how I deal with my anxiety. <laughs> It's a cycle. <laughs> it's a cycle. <laughs> aggressively. <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, no OCD. <laughs> uh, no, today was really bad. Like, if you if you have OCD or, or if you've dealt with it in the past, it's like every single thing. Like my brain t- tells me to question it. Like, don't do this. If you do this, something bad will happen. Or uh, don't wash this dish. Wash this dish first, and then this dish. And if you don't do that, but like it's your, just all your, day. Your textbook OCD. Like he has, and then if something happens, he has to do the ritual to make that not happen, and it consumes him until he does it. Oh my god! Sorry, what? I just triggered myself. I usually <laughs> this is so stupid, but I usually I have a ritual I do before the podcast, and I didn't do it, and I think that's why I've had anxiety during this whole podcast because usually before a podcast. I get on my knee, <laughs> I get on my knees, and I pray, and I say a very specific prayer, and I pray for a good podcast, and I pray that everybody's gonna have a good time, and I, I have all these things, and then, and then the podcast is always great, and I feel like I ruined it, oh. but it's been good so far. Yeah. No. <laughs> I join a lot of these prayer circles, so I know. That's, but, but. but no, I like, like it. it. Yeah. And they work. Or that's just my OCD talking. <laughs> no, they do. And you know who has the best prayers? Your mom. Oh, my, my mom. They work. Like, she's like a manifester. It's she crazy. Prays and it happens. If I want something to happen in my life, I ask your mom to fucking pray for me. Yeah. Um, yeah, prayer is uh, before they marketed and capitalized off the law of attraction. We just called it prayer, I believe, actually. Wow. At the base of it, that's what prayer is. Whoa. Yeah. Because when you pray about something, if you go to sleep and you pray to bring things to you tomorrow, that you want to have this kind of a day, God bring me this and that, then you're going to be actively seeking those things and believing that God is bringing them to you and you'll be able to accept them. Whoa! But if you just go to sleep angry and you wake up bummed out, you're going to go throughout the day with that kind of a demeanor. (laughs) But prayer puts out into the universe what you're expecting to get from the universe and you're able to accept its gifts. Whoa. So, yeah. Interesting. But it's a little, it's a cheap tricks with... 
Jared. Jared. Oh, that was a good cheap mental health trick. <laughs> um, uh, Chris, sweetie. Well, Chris Anxiety dropped a bomb sister. last night that you're that you were saying you're always anxious. Yeah, I'm different levels of anxious. I'm like an anxious that I can tolerate, like right now, or I'm an anxious where I'm like, oh, I can't handle anything anymore. Mm. Or, like we've talked about this since my dad's heart attack, my anxiety some, a lot of times now shows itself in the form of like, I feel like I'm having a heart attack and it's like, I I will swear to you on everything I'm having a heart attack. Those ones not as constant, the like really severe ones not as constant, but I'm kind of always uh, at least a little anxious. But um, you actually, Shane, you actually said something that helped me. I had an anxiety attack after the last pod podcast mm -hmm. and um, I was sitting there and I remembered you talking about like feeling like thinking of like your fingertips and focusing on your fingertips and the sensation of like feeling that and then like your nose and your eyes and your feet and your whatever. And like I started doing that and it kind of helped. Really? kind of. So I just wanted to say like oh, you gave a really good piece of advice for anyone that heard that you can probably explain it better than I did. But wait, why are we having an anxiety attack? Um, I don't remember. I was in the car, and I don't. Oh my god! I don't remember why. Yeah, I was having one recently. When did you start getting anxiety? Because you've been anxious <laughs> since I've known you, and that's not a diss. Because yeah. I have too. <laughs> I've been anxious as far as I can remember. I mean, I've, there's never been a point where I'm not. I mean, to the point now, like doctors constantly are trying to give me like Ativan and like all kinds of like mm. medications, and I, I, I'm, I'm too anxious to take them. That's the funny thing. My wow. anxiety makes me scared to take anxiety medication because it's like there's gonna be side effects. I'm gonna get addicted. I'm gonna, and then I have like a spirally anxiety attack over that. So. Wow, I mean, I get it. I've been afraid to take. I mean, this is getting real intense, but we're not we're not doctors. Don't take our medical advice for any um, of you guys that maybe thought we were doctors. <laughs> I know we put off doctor vibes. I know when we were talking about the prostate and Jill doing butts, you might have thought we were proctologists. Um, it's a butt doctor, which Ooh, I've been to before. Wow. It wasn't from a dick; it was from poop, and I ripped my butt. <laughs> you can do that. It's called a fissure. You had a fissure. I've had a fissure. Oh. <laughs> is that a cancer thing <laughs> i've actually never had a had a oh fisher <laughs> i've never had one <laughs> um, okay <laughs> holy shit anyway no. anxiety um <laughs> it's like when i have anxiety i think of my fingertips <laughs> How they feel in my butt. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, uh, no, but like, uh, uh, yes. No, I think it is. It, I'm afraid of medication too. Like mm. uh, when it comes to antidepressants, because I'm pretty sure I have uh, clinical depression. Like I think it's one of those things that I've had my whole life and I can get out of bed and stuff. So it's, I've always been like, well, it's not that bad. Um, but it is one of those things where I do fight to, this is dark. I do fight to feel like, um, what's the point and like i don't want to do anything i've i don't care about anything like i have days like that a lot um and but it's really hard much better over and i will with therapy honestly i have seen you transform over years with therapy be, with, in regards to this without medication because you have yeah. had reservations with yeah i still think i probably need to experiment <laughs> with some medication be, i mean just keeping it real because it, it is one of those things where uh, therapy helps, but but yeah, I think there's probably a chemical imbalance I need to figure out. But I have anxiety about that too because I'm like, well, what if it numbs me out? What if this and what if that? And then I know people that are on antidepressants and they're like, no, it's great, changed my life. And but I still do have anxiety about it. It's scary, so I understand that. Um, yeah, I mean, one thing that helps me is just like reminding myself, especially when it feels like a heart attack, specifically that it's just that it's not that. Like yeah. just just confidently telling myself i know like body and brain like you are telling me we're having a heart attack but i'm positive that it's not i'm positive it's not that you're wrong body mm -hmm. <laughs> and like and after just like telling myself like i promise you we're okay <laughs> that sounds crazy like, i'm talking to two people no, it doesn't. but i'm like i promise you know like you're okay it's not a heart attack whatever after a while my body's like you sure i'm pretty sure it's a heart attack i'm like nobody it's not it's like are you sure though and i'm like yeah and then after a while it's like Okay, all right, maybe you're right. And sometimes that helps me, just like telling myself, because anxiety is not like it's not like a, a, you know what I mean? It's like in your head, kind of. I honestly feel whenever I'm actively working out and eating healthy and sleeping enough, I'm like pretty good. And yeah. then when I'm not doing those things, I'm unrisky. Okay, but here's a difference, and not to anxiety shame you. The reason you're able to do all those things is because you you don't suffer too much from anxiety. Cause like for me, 
Like, I wish I could do all those things on a regular basis and feel better, but my anxiety keeps me from doing them. You know, like I want to eat healthy and eat, you know, eat the right amount of meals and eat the right amount of calories and all that stuff. But my weight anxiety keeps me from doing that because I'm like, no, I can't eat that much because I'm getting fat or, you know, oh, whatever. So it's like then I don't eat right. And then, you know, working out, I'm like, oh, I need to work out right now because I'm getting fat, whatever. It's like that anxiety. So then I work out too hard and then I hurt myself. It's almost like this anxiety cripples all those things that you should be able to do to stay to help. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Cause even for Shane, a lot of times he does not get the same, uh, result from working out because no. more than my body, more than for my body. Like I go to yoga because the way it makes me feel like if I'm having the worst day ever, I can have a full 180 reset and mindset on my day. And I'm like, just go out and walk, just go do physical movement. And then he, he shuts down. He hates it so much that it does the opposite effect on him. But, but Shane also suffers from depression as well as anxiety, which are different things. And, and both of those mm -hmm. together are like really uh -oh. tough to deal with. I also suffer from both of those things. <laughs> right. Clinically depressed and my right. therapist has diagnosed me or whatever it's. And it's like, that's the thing you don't have the not being able to get out of bed, but I have that sometimes where like mm. truly, and it just sounds like an annoying lazy, like if I heard someone being like, oh, I just can't get out of bed because my depression, like that would sound so frustrating, but mm. it like truly you can't sometimes. And, and it's, you, it's tough because you know, it's an imbalance, right? Depression is an imbalance in your brain. Like. It's a good word, you know, cause I was thinking a lot about balance and I, I think not to go too too big picture with it but you said something that kind of struck me you said what's the purpose that's kind of like a question that gets brought up when you're having these big anxiety attacks or these moments of depression that you go through that's the ultimate question and I, I think for me, it's a little bit hard sometimes to talk about anxiety because over the past year I do go through it momentarily and I do have tough times but I found that, what you say, what's the purpose? That's the main, that's the ultimate end all be all. If you don't have a clear idea of what your goal is or what kind of a life you want to live or, or, you know, if you don't have any kind of a purpose to your life, then you're going to get caught up in every single moment and make everything important to the point where it's crippling. You know what right. I'm saying? Mm. It's like what paralysis by analysis, like you're overthinking, you're overanalyzing and I think once in, and, and not to promote it as like an end all be all to help you, but once I had an extreme psychedelic experience where I felt like I spoke with God, I felt like I had an out-of-body experience, it felt like I kind of died, it put this life into perspective for me, and I realized that the goal of this life is to find happiness, to spread happiness, to not place your source of happiness on things that you can't control, mm -hmm. And just to go throughout, because you're only going to live life once. I mean, people have been using psychedelics for thousands of years, and it's done a whole lot for civilization. I'm glad to see the taboo being lifted. And it, maybe it's not for everybody, but uh, that was a huge experience in my life. And the the whole thing Hold is... On. I Okay, well, you went really quickly over... You said you saw God. <laughs> yeah. I, I, need, I need a second. <laughs> Wait, what? I need, what? Uh, yeah, so mainly the psychedelic that I enjoy using is mushrooms. I like to be as organic as possible, but I started looking into DMT and the experiences the people were having. Um, I always wanted to try ayahuasca, but that's kind of a journey to do. Mm -hmm. So I was able to get my hands on some DMT. So you, you have to smoke it and you have to take a couple of big hits and then pretty much you hold your breath and before you know it, you, you just blast off into another realm. Mm. Depending on how much you smoke is really- That just you, gave me anxiety. <laughs> like if you smoke a little bit, you can sit here and probably have a conversation and you'll just see like almost a film that looks like all these crazy shapes and colors. It basically looks like the matrix, you know? But if you take a lot, you have what's called a breakthrough. And that's when you have an ego death you separate completely from your body. There's no sense of time. There's no sense of space. Because time and space is what ties you into reality. Without those mm. two variables, th there would be nothing. And I'm you know what I mean? That can tie you into a moment. So I smoked a very large amount because I'm a go big or go home type of guy. So I did that. All I remember is I started to blow it out. And then I heard this loud bang. And then it was like just crazy shapes and colors squiggly lines in front of me and a loud buzz and the initial thought i had was i just killed myself i don't know how oh. i did it but i'm dead i just killed myself i had a huge wave of panic mm. and i thought oh my god fucking you know my wife and then all of a sudden it just went completely white 
and I and I lost focus of any kind of logical thoughts that I could ever have or words. Words didn't exist. It turned completely white. Mm-hmm. I was able to see forever in all directions. So a 360 degree view of all directions. And after that happened, um, I did actually hear a couple words. It was a lyric from a song that's the only thing faster than the speed of light is the speed of dark. That lyric came into my my mind and then it just went black. Whoa. And then it went black and then there was like green lightning bolts and I just heard, God is everything. You are part of everything. God is in you. You are with God. And then I, it's, I can't explain a whole lot more than that, but I felt in the presence of God, I felt like I am part of something, this source that's all powerful, that's all knowing, you know, I realized that there's so much more to my existence than these things that I'm thinking about all the time. And it's it just like a fucking wow moment, you know, and it was almost, I, I it sounds kind of weird, but I got the option to either stay in that realm or go back to the world I was used to. And I, I wanted to go back to the world I was used to. And then I asked, um, like, what is this all about? You know, that was my last thing. And then all that happened was I said, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? And it was like, this is making it, me like, it, it became a, it became, it, me it became yeah. like a, like a wind up to like, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> but, and then I, and then I started coming too. Cause up until there, like, I know I'm saying words and stuff, but it wasn't coming to me. Like me and you were talking right now. It was. I always hear people say they talk to God. Mm-hmm. I talk to myself in my head. Uh huh. You know, I've never heard another voice. Uh huh. You know, but this was like I wasn't. It was all spiritual. So although I'm speaking in English right now, like in the moment, it was just no words had to be said. It was just a feeling. It was a spiritual moment. But the who cares was because who cares? Like if I ever have a problem in life, or I'm going through a lot, who cares? Like ultimately, it could be boiled down to like, is this? something so important that I should throw away my happiness. Huh. You know, like if you can fix it, don't worry. If you can't fix it, don't worry. You Whoa. know, and well, you it, can't change the outcome either way. Like, you know, it, it, exactly. Chris, so <laughs> hearing that story, huh. how does that make you feel? <laughs> Horrified. I mean, like I was a like, nightmare. I was like, part, it also, part of me is like, it's so beautiful. And then the other part of me is like, Chris, it's terrifying. becoming a lot more popular. At, even like in the Gwyneth Paltrow Netflix show, they did a psychedelics for therapy and it's becoming more mainstream to do. It's something that I would like to do eventually. Well, like ecstasy. If you take MDMA, <laughs> you guys, next time we come to Colorado, I don't want to incriminate myself, but something's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> like to go no, on record. Who knows what it will be? But I mean, <laughs> every it feels like everyone has very different advice on how to deal with anxiety, and depression. Whether well, that's it's what, like but... therapy, running, exercise, like, and all these things can help. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, it, I think it totally depends on the person. I think the individual person needs to figure out what works. Just being for proactive them, for yourself. Because your advice may not work for Jared. Your advice may not work for me. My advice, may, you know, whatever. But um, but yeah, I mean, I think you need to try things and see what works for you. But I think as long as you're trying, that's the best. Because there are a lot of people who just let their depression or anxiety swallow them whole mm-hmm. and you, get lost. Just keep trying. You will find the thing that works for you. You will get better. You know what never worked? Hmm. Doing nothing. Yep. <laughs> there you go. So do yes. something. Just do something and make it an effort to do something. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's totally. it. Totally. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is, there's such an easy joke there about no, no, just do it. Damn, just butt. do it. Just still do your butt. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, hey, 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 deal do it. Yes, deal do it. <laughs> deal, deal. Or deal don't. Listen. <laughs> it's up to you. I mean, um, okay. Now we're gonna okay, we're gonna take a break and then when we come back <laughs> conspiracy theories. Oh my god. Okay. It's not a big deal though. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't a big deal though. Hey. It's not. No pun intended. (laughs) Okay, so I am so excited about today's Conspiracy Corner. First, I want to show you guys a couple of subliminal message updates. Okay, so somebody sent me this, and at first I thought it was stupid, and then I looked at it a few more times, and it scared me, and it actually, like, freaked me out, and I was afraid to go to bed. So, Dude, great fucking intro for that, dude. (laughs) You gotta build these up. I love it. Nice. All right. So, if you take the Starbucks logo... You see it? Yeah, a nude woman holding her tail. Wait, actually, now that I'm looking at the Starbucks logo, that's weird, right? Or no, is it like religious? I don't want to be offensive. It's like a woman spreading her legs open. If you take the Starbucks logo and you flip it upside down, it makes <laughs> it makes a demonic, I think it's called a 
Baphomet, but it's a demon horned uh, figure that is used in cults and mythical traditions. Honestly, coffee is kind of a cult, especially Starbucks. Dude, what? I see a man's face. Well, yeah, it's like the- With horns. Yes, that's what it is. It's a demon. It scared me because I was like, when you take the Starbucks cup and you drink it and you pour and you put it upside down to your mouth, there's a demon. Um, I'm just saying. Uh, no, it actually scared me. It was stupid, but when I saw it, it scared me. Um, okay, the next one. I have an update on a Mandela effect. I, I literally, I got this email and I couldn't believe it. I didn't believe it. Actually, I shouldn't read the email first. I should just show you the clip. So this is an achy breaky heart Mandela effect update. Chris, can you Google the lyrics for Achy Breaky Heart? Because I think there's a Mandela effect that he never actually says, don't break my heart. What? So the actual lyrics, but don't tell my heart, my but Achy Breaky don't Heart. don't tell my heart? Right? That's crazy. He never says, don't break my heart. Don't tell my heart? That's a Fuck lie. Fuck off with that. That's a lie. We need to get Billy Ray on this couch. What? I need the truth. Are you guys ready for this? Okay. This is the Holy Grail. Riley, can you see it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Here we Huge. go. Huge. Disney, please don't copyright me. Fair use rights. Hey, dude. Love the mullet. This guy. Isn't he like 40 years old? Shout out to him, dude, for looking yes, so good. Jason like, Earls. He has two first names, dude. That's dope. Babe, and I'm pretty sure she's single. Listen, kid, I'm kind of working here. Don't break my heart. My itchy, twitchy heart. No. My herky jerky heart. Dude, what? that's all the proof I need. Are you not? Wait, why aren't you shut? Mm, what? You don't remember the man. He though, is so no, shook. I he do. doesn't it was, even have to react. It was not. Don't break my heart. My it, what was it? it? Was it was tell. Don't, don't, don't tell. Supposedly, my don't tell my heart. Yes. Yeah, so and what? Billy Ray, who is the writer and singer of that hit song, literally said, "Don't break my heart." My itchy, twitchy heart. He went on the biggest platform in media, Hannah Montana. <laughs> And put Why are you? How are you not shook by this? I screamed when I saw this. Somebody sent me this and said, it's "Oh my crazy. God, it's crazy!" Right? Yeah. Literally. We need to get like the Richter scale for earthquakes. You yeah. Know, it's like this is a five point two. Like a shook. Uh, like this is the Schichter scale or something like that. Yes. Dude, I'm at like an eight point five. Oh, I'm at a this horse dildo in my ass right now. This shit is end of the world to me type stuff. Oh, That's wow. what I'm saying. Yeah. Your face didn't tell me that. <laughs> well, okay. Look, can we be honest? Yeah. What? While we were really drunk and while they were really high, we watched this clip <laughs> last night. <laughs> we so couldn't I need, wait. I needed yeah. your reaction. That's Wait. why I'm so mad. You because, couldn't wait? Because last night, well, he I was, was drunk. God. And I was like, oh my God, you guys, this Mandela effect. And I was like, I shouldn't show you. I shouldn't show you. And then I showed them and I'm like, you have to pretend you haven't seen it. So then we watched it last night. We were screaming in so the kitchen. So I'm being pranked. And that's why all the pressure is on me. And I think this is like a two out of 10. B but I did freak out last Billy night. Billy Ray himself just confirmed a Mandela effect. That's a he didn't write it. He's, he's acting. He's the writers in the writer room right wrote that anyways thank you so much sophia for sending me that it shook me so um, all of these now i have to know that you've shown everyone <laughs> that was the only one i promise i promise i have a couple more mandela effects i know we're kind of over it we've done way too many of these i should probably take a break but i saw these and i was like i just have to know what you guys think oscar meyer okay is it the one on the left or the one on the right. I don't even see a difference. Well, one is M A. Oh, like I wish I had the Oscar Mayer wiener. I mean, if it's Mayer, I'm gonna kill myself. Yeah, I, it has to Oscar be the one Mayer. on the left, <laughs> or it's over. Wow, for that is... Oscar Mayer would be criminal. Okay. It's hard for me to look at these and not go the way that I feel like it. It shouldn't be. I've been know? through too much last night. I can't handle Mayer right now. <laughs> don't do that. Okay, thing. well here it is. <gasps> I'm gonna go kill myself. You're kidding me. <laughs> Oscar Mayer. I know. No, that's crazy. I also, have no... what is an uncured wiener? Sorry, side note, side note. <laughs> not important. Know. Oscar Mayer. Why is it an A? Mayer. John, Ma John Mayer. It's not John Mayer. I'm so upset. Right? <laughs> the mayor. I hate it. It's not the Meyer. It just doesn't make sense. I'm boycotting the brand, honestly. <laughs> Wait, we need sponsors. Wait. I, Oscar. I, no. I mean, yes. <laughs> we'll all put a hot dog in our box. I'm not eating it, <laughs> for you. quite honestly. <laughs> okay, the next one. This is like a really famous one. Flintstones. Is it the one on the left or the one on the right? Flintstones. Where Meet the, the Flintstones. Flint Oh, the Flinton stones? It's gotta be the left. I think right the one on the I think the one on the left makes sense to me. Yeah, Flint if it's stones. the right, that's fuck I don't remember like <laughs> And it's the one on the right. With the two T's. Flint, that looks Flint stupid. Stones, Is Flint that what the actual logo for the Flintstones looks like? Flint. Hold on, let me look this up. And he only has three toes? That is weird. What's his wiki feet? 
<laughs> if Fred Flintstone has a better wiki feet than me. Oh, he's got to. His feet are killing it. I mean, wait, he kind of looks weird. like Chris's type. I like it. <laughs> he's giving Kevin J. And John Goodman played him in the movie, who's like a bunch of chasers dream. King. Okay. King shit. Um, yeah, that looks wrong to me, and I'm never going to believe it. Oh, okay. Okay. So I have a conspiracy. It's a joke. But it also is kind of not a joke. And I, I thought of it right before we started shooting because right before we started today, something happened. And listen, I'm not I don't want to get into politics. But when there's a clip of the president, Joe Biden, falling off a bike, I'm watching it. <laughs> I'm watching it a few times. I feel bad. I'm laughing. I'm dissecting it from different angles. I'm seeing the angles. I'm seeing what, what happened. And um, my theory is... Why did they put the man on the bike? If he can't ride a bike, how can he run a country, Ryland? I mean... Oh, wait. I'm not saying... Wait. <laughs> I mean... In, 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 that's not what I'm saying. That's in, what I'm saying. In, in his defense, we've had a, a president in a wheelchair before. He definitely couldn't ride a bike. Whoa. I'm not smart enough to know which one it was. <laughs> but I know there was one. Yeah. Chris, who, what president did we have that was in a wheelchair? Was it Teddy Roosevelt, actually? No. Can I redeem myself by actually knowing which one it was? Now, listen. First of all, I did feel bad. It was sad. <laughs> because I saw his foot, his foot got trapped in the pedal. Uh -huh. There's an angle where it shows his foot getting trapped in the pedal, and that's what made him fall, and I've done that before, so I related. He goes down in slow motion, it's unbearable. Like, he tries, and I'm like, it's relatable for sure, but it's also just tragic. It was one of the first times, like Chris even said, we were like, wow. I, I've never felt closer to Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm the clumsiest human in the world and I trip on everything and everyone just all the time. And like sometimes I'll like it'll be like that where it's like slow and like there's so much time for me to bring but I'm I can. It start and it happens. And I'm like <sighs> I get it. So here is where my theory came in. Also it was Roosevelt. <gasps> you Roosevelt. King shit. You ooh, think ooh. he's playing the sympathy card? Roosevelt? No, Biden. <laughs> I was like, uh, he was a great man. Whoa. Like this was planned. No, what I'm saying is, you said you've never felt closer to him. Very well, relatable, right? I mean, then I started thinking, no, and I was he like, came out as a bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Bottom. <laughs> well, that's iconic. That is iconic. He's got my wow. Bottom. Joe Bottom. <laughs> wow. Twenty twenty. I love where Joe Biden led us in this topic. <laughs> I was very curious how this was going. I, mean, I love it. So what? Get to your theory. Okay, I'm versatile, but continue. What? I'm versatile, but continue. I'm okay, sure. okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> Don't versatile erase him. <laughs> Sorry, right, right. Uh, Kamala versus... <laughs> Kamala. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Very political. Okay, we really did it, Joe. Edge. Okay, sorry. We didn't, um, Joe. Oh my God! If they, sorry. So my theory was like, remember when Jennifer Lawrence fell on stage at the Oscars mm -hmm. yes. over her dress, yeah. and then she became the most relatable queen in the world. Everybody loved Jennifer Lawrence. People were kind of annoyed by her, and then she fell, and everybody's like. Me. But I want to just say that shit backfired. Joe, Ain't no everyone's making fun of the guy. <laughs> Joe Biden you know? though, right? His approval rating I think is low, right? So what does he do? He's on a bike, he falls. We're like, I relate. We feel kind of bad for him. And it's relatable because clumsy shit. You know, you know, you know why I wanted Maybe it was planned. And maybe it's I don't working. want that man to be near any button that could blow the world up. <laughs> okay. And on a second note. Here's my here's my conspiracy theory. I look at it like he was riding the bike fine. Who knows? He could have ridden 20 fucking miles before this point. I think there was a group of people. You see it in the video. Okay, they're waiting for him. They're about to fucking attack him verbally with questions. He had his people with him. And then they were saying, hey, Joe, what are you going to do about the gas prices? Hey, Joe, what do you think about Bitcoin? And they're like, Joe, you got to fucking take it. Joe, just fall, fall, fall. <laughs> okay. You know, distract him, distract him. So Joe's uh -huh. like, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I think it was a perfect distraction because he didn't have to answer any questions. And now we're saying, look how relatable he fell on a bike. Like, <laughs> or he's just Jennifer Lawrence. I have two yeah. things. Hey, I have two things. Okay. One. Jennifer Lawrence, I don't think was annoying. I think she got so popular, the media made her annoying. Mm -hmm. Every headline was she like she was out Me of with the drama channels. <laughs> no, it's literally her narrative was taken outside of herself, and she was made annoying outside of herself. She was slaying too hard. So yes. justice for Slay Jennifer on. Lawrence. Uh, and Joe Biden, as much as I would like to uh, play along with you guys, I don't think he's coordinated enough to coordinate the fall. 
<laughs> I just think the takeaway is Joe Bottom was fucking hilarious. That was like such, that was Joe so Bottom funny. is so iconic. Yeah, I Joe, Joe Bottom, Bottom is like yesterday. if Joe Bottom really wants to fucking uh, get those approval ratings, if he's if he embraces Joe Bottom, game over. Oh, okay. during <laughs> Pride right, Month, right, right. during Pride Month, who cares about gas prices? You know. <laughs> I'll even watch you know the video. Going up? Starts an OnlyFans. Joe Bottoms. I'll subscribe. Oh, wow! Yeah. Everyone would like out of curiosity. I think a lot of people to watch Joe, Joe Bottom. Biden? You're you're not gonna pay to just see it once. No. Okay. Does he have a wiki I'm, feed? Yeah, see it one time. I'm sure. Of course he does. <laughs> Honestly, and listen, once again, not political, but I will say I don't want to see Joe Biden's penis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see Joe Bottom diddle, doodle in his butt. <laughs> I don't want to see a dildo in Joe Bottom. I'm curious to see what we have to look forward to. Italy and doing his butt. Uh, um, no, listen, we're, we're not a political podcast, but we we approve of the message that Joe Biden should change his name Joe Bottom. 2024. Oh, definitely. I think America can get behind that. I honestly, that's Dude. the only thing we can all get behind is Joe's bottom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Woof. Anyway, <laughs> would you help me if I fell off a bike? Of course. Thank you. <laughs> okay, kid shows. This one is really stupid, but there's a lot of Dora the Explorer uh, conspiracy theories. Like everything's all in her head. She's, you know, she's seeing all these crazy images. Uh, not really conspiracies, just generally real, right? Because like backpacks don't talk. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, but somebody did. Have you ever heard of uh, backmasking? What? Yeah, where you play it backwards. So backmasking is a theory that has been around forever. And it's basically if you play a song backwards, sometimes there's subliminal messages or like demonic things. Or there's one famous one where if you play a Britney Spears song backwards, it sounds like she's saying sleep with me. I'm not too young. Whoa. I know. Whoa. But this one I saw and somebody was somebody actually sent this to me and said, listen to this Door the Explorer clip backwards. It's like really freaky. And I was like, I don't know. And then I watched it. It creeped me out. <laughs> I mean, listen. <laughs> if I'm being honest, that was so clearly Hail Satan that I feel like it's edited. Like, I want to take the theme song and reverse it myself because I don't believe it's going to do that. Yeah, it was very clear. That was real. It was just so, <laughs> like... Was there was dude. none of the... Even the syllables of what they said in the pre... I don't know. You know what, Chris? <laughs> actually, that's actually a good idea. Let's debunk it, possibly. Even though I think it's real. Dude, I think Dora is fucking Satan. Wait, wait. Conspiracy, real quick. Is the conspiracy that it makes little kids want to run away? Because where's... Is that her thing? Is she just always on the on the run? With a backpack exploring? Whoa. Did she run away? Wait a minute. <laughs> fucking running away to hell? <laughs> if this works, I'm going to... I'll be shook if this works. Um, okay, while you're working on that, another quick kid show conspiracy. I've actually done a video about this years ago, mm -hmm. but I find it even more uh, prevalent now because I feel like mental health is so many people are aware of it. There's a theory that every character in Winnie the Pooh represents a different mental health struggle. <laughs> James. Okay. Winnie the Pooh, he's obsessed with honey. He's obsessed with food. He's so big that he gets stuck in holes. Relatable. <laughs> Piglet, anxiety. Oh. Can't be still, always you know, nervous. No. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yes. Shaky pig, same. Yes. Um, Rabbit, narcissistic personality disorder. Only thinking about himself. Never think about anybody else. Always about rabbit. Always rabbit. Fucking Tigger. <laughs> Tigger, ADHD. Wait, Tigger's not what I thought. I was thinking about Tigger. Who's the rabbit? Rabbit's the one that's like, I need something. He sucks. Oh, but oh, but Tigger bounces. I think I was thinking Tigger's bouncy. Tigger's always rabbit. hyperactive. And then Eeyore. Uh, depression. depression. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Have you been called Eeyore your whole life? Because I have. No. And isn't he wearing uh, a I'm bandage? No one has. Doesn't he have a bandage on? Oh. He's probably shooting up, dude. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Because I was like, I've, oh my God, I've, no. I've, I've heard this a few different ways. I've heard it's not about these disorders. They're all drug addicts. So Pooh is like a pothead that's always like, yeah, he's always hungry. No. Again, Piglet is like a fucking uh, tweaker, like a tweaker. Oh. Tigger is like PCP or something <laughs> like that. And then Eeyore is heroin. Oh. And then the rabbit would probably be cocaine. You know what I mean? Because it's like, uh, whatever. If it's Wow. But I've heard both. So Yours makes more sense. I'm going to say all the characters on Winnie the Pooh are drug addicts. So <laughs> Chris, did you reverse it? I reversed it. And what happened? And I'm kind of shook. Because it, it's... Oh my god, wait, play it. Maybe put your mic 
down. Ew. Wow. Why does it sound worse? Because it's realer. <laughs> That is crazy. You know, backmasking is a real thing that they do, just so you we know. We should backmask this episode. Whoa. It is crazy Episodes even for the people that are making the music. Like, they have a lot of time to create something that sounds incredible. It probably takes five minutes, you know. I'm sure this was, this had to have been an accident, though. Like, there's no way. I don't think so. I think that was real. <laughs> that's really scary. Honestly. Whoa, I, like, put it in there as a joke, but that's really fucking scary. What is, what is the words that they're reversing? What are they saying first? Uh, Door of the Explorer, is that it? Let me play it the right way. It's... <laughs> Her Dora, name? Dora the Explorer backwards. That's pretty is. bad. That is so scary. Ew. Ew. Move pretty over, weird. Billy Ray. This is creepier. <laughs> Dora, get on this couch. Oh, don't tell my brain. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't break my fucking reality, Dora. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. <laughs> Camera action, Ryland's recap is about to happen. Oh, yeah. Ryland's recap. Oh my god, this is literally my favorite part of the show. I'm like, after last week, I'm a little scared because the reaction was too good. You know? <laughs> it's like, no, should we, deserved it. should we leave a good thing as a good thing? No pressure. This no is pressure. gonna be great. Amazing. Best segment of the show. No pressure. Everyone's looking forward to it. Um, Here we go. <laughs> Best Lights, up. camera, action, Ryland's recap is about to happen, oh, yeah. Ryland's recap. On today's episode of the Shane Dawson podcast, the boys are in Colorado and got stoned out of their minds. They had to cancel the first episode of the podcast because they couldn't handle themselves. And Jared breaks Shane's zip line. Oh. Not only that, the lights come falling down with him. <laughs> we also learned that the guys are canceling themselves yet again. Oh, why? Oh. Uh, yeah, this is news to me. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do we do? Okay. This is breaking give, news. Give me the recap. <laughs> Ryan, <Ryland's> his recap. <laughs> what is it? Ryland's How did we get canceled? Uh, the boys had a controversial take on our president, Joe Biden, calling him a bottom. It was shocking, <laughs> triggering, and quite frankly, uncalled for. The masses are disturbed, and Twitter oh. is outraged. Jared is introduced to the term verse. Jared learns what verse means, and he thinks that he's one of them. Dora Explorer <laughs> is a Satanist cult. Uh, we learn that Dora the Explorer is not the PG woman you thought she was. <gasps> Oscar oh. Mayer isn't the wiener we wish it was. Or now wish. you're just writing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pinching too hard, I'm sorry. Oscar <laughs> Mayer, what can I say? Oscar Mayer's not spelled the right <laughs> What other bombshells did we have? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, we talked about our relationship. Mm. Oh. Ooh. On the rocks. <laughs> no, I'm doing What's it again. the segment I'm doing it again. called again? And Shane and Ryland have their biggest blowout yet. You're not going to want to miss it because mm, are they going to make it? We don't know. Shane alludes to an affair <laughs> with Chris. A dark recap. <laughs> yeah, hey, whoa. Hey, We're hey. canceled. <laughs> you might be out of this relationship. I mean, the drama. Oh, oh, oh da, da, da. We're the getting, drama. You're so good. I'm sorry. You're okay. so good. Oh, I got it. I, I believe got it. it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Okay. Shane Dawson has announced an affair with his podcast co host, Chris B. Station. You can look it up on Instagram. There's multiple drama channels talking about it, and Chris has the latest. Chris? There's not really a toss. Oh, it's a, no, it's a statement. I was like, what? Oh, <laughs> and we do have a statement from Chris himself. Chris? Wh what? <laughs> Chris, are you cheating with Shane? Of course, n never more than once. Uh, live reactions are pouring into our studio <laughs> and everyone's calling bullshit. No one believes it. And with that, that ends the Shane Dawson no, podcast. Wait, what? Oh, oh, um, Billy Ray confirms Mandela effect. Oh, yeah. Billy Ray Cyrus confirms Mandela effect on the Hannah Montana show, confirming what we all knew to be true. All right, you guys. What, that... <laughs> what was it? <laughs> well, no, like you have to watch the show. You got to leave some to the imagination, right? They already, they already watched it. It's the recap, <laughs> not a preview. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ryland recap. recap. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, Eeyore is on heroin, right? Yeah, oh. hey, Eeyore's a heroin addict. And Winnie the Pooh has an eating disorder. Or, he, or he's just a pothead. <laughs> or he's just a drug addict. This just in, the cast of Winnie the Pooh are <laughs> all drug addicts. Eeyore is on... Heroin. Heroin. Pooh. Weed. 
<laughs> is a big old pothead. Which which we don't, which is uh, not as frowned upon as the heroin addiction. Which is totally legal in most states and not completely frowned upon. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you're just a confirmed. Totally frowned upon for the heroin. Just to confirm. Just to confirm. Heroin is bad, bad, bad. That seems fun. How you said it, but yeah, yeah, we, we get it. It's bad. Well, the boys truly hope you enjoyed their cowboy theme episode in Colorado. And of course, we hope you all come back next week. Don't forget, if you want to follow us on social media, we're at the Shane Dawson Podcast. And we'll see you again soon. Good night. Walk away. <sighs> yes! Wow. Oh. I want to fuck you in front of everyone. <laughs> uh, well, there you guys go. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, whatever the hell this was. Your recap was incredible. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> and yeah, I feel like this was a successful first Colorado podcast. You can't spell Colorado without red. Okay, dad. <laughs> All right, hope you guys enjoyed this. We'll see you next time. And oh, make sure to uh, give this video a thumbs up if you want us to keep making more. Seriously, let us know. And should we ever do it in Colorado again? Oh, yeah. Oh, also, let us know in the comments. Were you shook by the Mandela effects? Did you think that it was Oscar Mayer or Meyer? I want to know your honest opinions. Are we stupid? Maybe that's just a comment. Are we stupid? <laughs> you know? <laughs> the yeah, most just, yeah. comments we've ever got. <laughs> and don't individually tell us because I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.